Hi everyone, this is your Chess Puzzler and a very warm welcome to the channel. The 2018 Tata Chess Tournament is just around the corner and it is expected to produce some brilliant games because all the big names are taking part. Carlsen will be there for starters. This is going to be his 14th Tata Steel Chess Tournament. Fabi 2 will be there and of course as you can observe from the list, or for now the partial list, we are expecting to see all the usual suspects. This is the first list I can bring up without giving anyone a headache and I hope the names are large enough for everyone to read. There are a few people who are not going to make this tournament and I hope you can see the number 4 and 5 seeds are not taking part. Also number 8, 9 and 12. Are missing. This is the other list to complete the picture of those who are taking part. Now that we have the full list of participants, let's run to fill out the other details. The Tata is one of the strongest human tournaments in the world. It is going to be the 80th Tata Steel Chess Tournament, so no need to say it is often called the Wimbledon of Chess. It starts on Saturday 13th of January, and let me just bring up the full schedule again, one that I have split up over two pages. If you want to make a note of these, I can leave this for a few seconds. And if I'm going too fast for anyone, just rewind or pause. This is the second part of the schedule. The tournament is going to finish on Sunday, 28th of January. There are three free days for players to freshen up. One on the first Thursday, 18th of January. One on Monday, the 22nd. And one on Thursday, the 25th. Carlsen is the number one favourite to win this tournament. I know time goes very fast, but would you be able to recall the winners of Tata in the last few years? Well, in 2014, it was this guy. In 2015, it was this guy. In 2016, it was again this guy. But do you remember who it was last year? It was, of course, this chap who really surprised everyone with his very clever play. But who is your money on this year's tournament? It's always good to place your bet, but not just placing your bet on the player you like, but on the player who has the best record. Normally with the Tata, we always have to wait until the very end, with a few exceptions, just like last year when Wesley took it very easy and went for a very easy draw and left the rest battle it out. In the end, he played a gamble and it turned out to be in his favour. But are we going to see another such type of tournament this time round? OK, I shall be returning to keep you updated. So until next time, this was... Your chest puzzler.